Hi guys, Silver here, yet again in the newscaster mode, cause wow, the Toy Fair is still on, and this time we have some Transformers news. Uh, sorry if I will be a little like not right talking, I just woke up, but since I, I simply open my eyes and already like I get infos, Silver, Silver! All of my friends are writing to me. Silver, Silver, did you saw what they revealed? Did you saw this and that? Yes, I did, and and it's and it's freaking lovely. Like, wow. But yeah, let's not get that much into it. First, I would like to do like a more recap thingy where I would talk and give my opinions on the stuff we got earlier this week. So. Let's start with the big boy, Omega Supreme. We already had him like announced last year, but we only got to see his tank mode. And I really like uh, the alternative form of like the base. It's pretty cool. The tank is like spacey enough, but also kind of looks like a slab of uh, cake. But the base is also pretty good, I like the more compact uh, rails, since in G1 form for me they were always like too big and too long, so it looked more like a track around a base rather than a base. Also this like gigantic shelter thingy reminds me of a bus stop, I can imagine playing with MicroMasters and Legends toys in them. And the rocket, it's also pretty cool. My only complaint is that the feet, the feet is pretty visible on the side, but you can always play it off as something like compartment structure. But yeah, the robot mode is also great. Uh, it looks like a fusion of the Fall of Cybertron one mo with G1, mostly due to the really big deta detailing. The head has both the face of um, G1 cartoon model and the toy model where it was simply like a yellow slab. The claw is made from trans orange plastic, so I'm kind of scared here. He also comes with a gigantic effect piece that simply looks great. But the thing that I'm most hyped that I'm most hyped about is he comes with the MicroMaster Countdown, one of my favorite MicroMasters. Probably as a reference to his rocket base in G1. He looks pretty cool. Small, red and blue, with transforms like a moon raider. Love him. After that, uh, we also have the toys that won the pole. Uh, Transformers Impacto, their leader of the Wreckers, and Mirage. So first let's talk about Impactor and... Oh boy, doesn't he bring polarizing views. Some people think that he's really good, some people don't. Like, I saw people talking about his hollow legs and flat, flat chest, and I agree. It's They're not as good pieces of him, but it like, it's like the one of the not many times we're going to get a mainline uh, impacto, and so... I think we should be happy with what we get. Maybe there will be like a third party company. Yeah, robot mode is cool. He looks like a tropical ice cream with grape and mango. <laughs> tank mode is his typical duck bill tank thingy. Like this, I like the scoops on the front. And like his mate. Because uh, if you don't remember the. Uh, the voting poll was that we could get two characters and each of them had like a mini storyline in between them, Mirage and Impacto. Mirage, I think he was like, the, he, he, the story between them was that Mirage was supposed to convert Impacto to the side of Autobots. But since uh, Impacto now brands, uh, has the brand of Autobots from the start, I think the idea got dropped. So yeah, Mirage, and he looks really based on his G1 uh, animation model. As much since like he has the slab chest, long arms, and his shoulder cannon, which is the part that I like most. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, cause like other toys of him, the classics one, which was more like a reimagining using the newer version of uh, Formula race cars, and the uh, combiner was was like. It was just a dragster brittle, but it was still a really good toy. So yeah, this feels like, like yeah, compa This is another thing. Mirage, every new toy that he will get, it will be comp compared to the classics one. And this one, uh, as cool as this, as much as the dark blue is more G1 like, he it he doesn't look so slick. Maybe I will get him one day in the future, but. I'm not such a sucker for it. The race car mode looks great though, not counting the stuff under his uh, spoiler. Okay, so going back to another big boy. It's re recently on Amazon we got a confirmation for a Commander class. Nobody knew what it was. Well, it was a size class in Energon, when they were from what I know like Voyagers who had light and sounds. But this time, the Commander class is, if I'm looking at it right, you get a small uh, jet, fire, jet fire based on his Macross Valkyrie form. Uh, there's like a lot of videos talking about how jet fire needed to be changed to not, so, so Hasbro won't get sued by Bandai. I will link one in the description. And he like pulls out some stuff and transforms into his full Skyfire form based on the G1 uh, cartoon model and damn this toy looks good like it, this looks like somebody took like the what fans toys Icarus not the name of the third party MP and simply made him smaller cheaper but it's smaller but he's still like 20 centimeters 8 inches but he's also going to be eighty dollars, from what I remember. Ugh. I will wait for a sale on this one for sure. But yeah, he's still big and awesome. Ooh. Oh yeah. Also, we got like a picture of Studio Series Carmo the Dropkick. But like, who cares about the Dropkick now? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm really waiting. I oh, I waited for him since I liked Dropkey in the Bumblebee movie. But now he's kind of like overshaded by the Siege pieces. After that we have some new Masterpiece toys. We have the Masterpiece Bumblebee version 2.1 and he is also polarizing. Everybody is angry like he has fake hood chest. His heels are too big, and yes, I agree, that's a big letdown, but those people don't understand that Masterpiece, we are now in a Masterpiece 2 version, where we are going for more cartoon accuracy, while the first part of Masterpieces wanted to like take characters, make them more realistic. In my personal opinion, that was the style that I liked more. But I understand what uh, Takara is doing, and Bumblebee needed that since the original toy was like a small boy, the size of around Deluxe, and his car mode was also pretty biggish. This the this new masterpiece version really it replicates the idea of like the Choroku uh, Chibi cars really well. Penny Racer, that's how the name. But yeah, alongside Bumblebee, we got a weird photo. In the background, there was like two, there was like two different hulking characters, and... Nah, let's not talk about them. Let's save it for later, since they're a pretty big piece of my childhood. On yet another blurry photo, that later got... We saw a female figure sitting on a web and yeah after some time we got a cleaner pick and it's a masterpiece beast wars black arachnia ooh, ooh. yes finally yet yet another good toy of my wife what N never mind as well as uh, <laughs> as i was saying yeah masterpiece black arachnia it's she has like a gigantic web behind her and a, and like a pl and platform so yeah 
She looks very on model, like, I can't believe how does this thing transform. Like, at least Masterpiece Dinobot, he had a crap ton of cable in, inside of his chest, so it kind of like kinked out and into a dinosaur, but this? How? But yeah, now I also wonder how close are we to a masterpiece uh, Tarantulas? I know that th I know that the original floors are the same, but here they will need to like I have the uh, like maybe they will like uh, take a part of the transformation scheme and like just never mind. Now oh, let's get. Onto the big part. Ooh. So the two blurred picks I mentioned earlier were Star Convoy from the trans from the like Transformer Zone line. No, Return of Convoy line. And he looks to be a red echo of Power of the Primes Optimus. Many people are also getting angry about it, but uh, I can survive it. Like. This is probably the only toy of Star Convoy that we're going to get for like ever, unless like maybe in the next twenty years. And come on, the mold was really good. He has his uh, uh, little guns on the shoulders. Head looks freaking sleek. Uh, but most obviously, he has like this star crest thingy. But yeah, with the release of now the Powered Masters, you know, Diatlas, Sonic Bomber, and the third one, he didn't appear in the uh, OVA, so I don't remember his name. And also now Star Convoy, I can't wait for Sky Gary and Grandis. But yeah, now it's time for the main deal, the big meal. Right next to him was sitting Transformers Armada Optimus Prime. I, I'm a teenager, so I grew up with Armada. Like I, I went to our local electronic shops in like the 2007, and there were like a small rack of DVDs. And one of them was Transformers One, Episode One. Uh, I don't know the name. I but yeah, I, I when I went home, I popped it in, and I had a lot of fun. Recently, I got to acquire the real uh, Optimus Prime from Armada, and he's really cool, but sadly he's missing like the articulation. And this new toy, just look at him. This is only the gray, ver the gray prototype version, but I hope that I would really want them to make uh, him in like the American toy colors, where he's dark blue and goldish, since I never like the Takara yellow. It kind of looks like he's made from butter. But yeah, he also has this gi gigantic laser gun, which was an original toy used for like the light up gimmick in his fist. Fist. But yeah, wow. Also, if you look at his crotch, he has like a split, with which means that maybe we will get some other toys like Jetfire, and he could go and he could go and. and, and and he could combine with them. Like, wow, please, Takara, do it. Like, I don't think he's a remold of anything. Like, maybe he shares some engineering with Siege uh, Optimus Prime. Uh, a friend of mine noticed that he has, like, the wheel look and the, from what I remember, like, ties construction. But of, other than that, he's fully new mold. Like, Thank you, Takara. Thank you, Hasbro. We are entering the new golden era of Transformers. Like, when was this last time? 2006? Like, it was worth waiting for all the shit movies to earn enough cash so we can, like, make Impacto or a proper Omega Supreme. Ugh. You, you simply don't know how happy I am from it. Hmm. So... Yeah, uh, for for now, I think that's it about the Transformers Toy Fair news. If I forgot to mention anything, correct me in the comments. Uh, 